Saul, who became Paul later, was converted in, on the way to Damascus. Yeah, absolutely. See, he came as a terrorist who wants to kill Christians. He went out as a saint or as a, an apostle of Jesus Christ who proclaimed, yes, <laughs> who proclaimed the good news everywhere. Okay, uh, we have many challenges about our schools, how we renovate our schools again, renovating the transportation of our schools, and etc. I will stop here and give you a chance to, to ask me. That's really, yeah. What well, message to, to Chris? I, I, I've been talking to, to bishops in, in England and, and the Archbishop of Canterbury and try, trying to anyway. And what's your message to the churches in England? Let me say, I was in the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland yeah. on 2014, or 15, maybe 15. And I had said it very clearly. If you keep Christians in the Middle East, you will be saved as Christians forever. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. If you lose Christians in the Middle East, I think we will not have any more Christians in, in the whole world. Mm. Second, keeping Christians in this Middle East and in Syria in, in, in specific means keeping the dignity of human beings. Yeah. Uh, thirdly, I think the church should have a prophetic voice in the West. And unfortunately, they lost this prophetic voice. Yeah. Yeah. They had always to get the attention of their government yeah. about not keeping Christians only, about keeping all the people in this area, especially Syria. It's, it, it, is, it is geography of civilizations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is geography of civilizations. So what does it mean to live? Although I know the difficulties very well. Yes. I know the lobbying that ha that goes beyond politics there. I know it very well. But I think if the church will stay away of this, we will have this crisis everywhere. Yes. I think the church should play its role yeah. in in uh, their uh, congregations and in their countries. Yes. But another thing, which is very important, the church should not be obliged to get its news from the media no mm -hmm. more media no more neutral media mm -hmm. the media played very dirty game in syria yes. i think you have partners everywhere yeah. we are your partners we are one in one body in jesus christ is it right you can ask us as christians here we can answer you openly and transparently we, we know very well that our government was not a perfect government. We know that very well. We know we had corruption. But that does not mean to have this crisis. Mm. We were in many talks with the government. And even the president himself said it many times. I know there is corruption. And I think we have to work for reformation. So, my, my message to the West, don't ever let the most vulgar, sorry to say this word and use it, yeah. governments and authorities of the Gulf countries lead you because of money they have, because they have money. We cannot serve two. Either we serve God or we serve money. If the government will serve the money, let the church serve God. Let the church serve humanity. Let the church serve nature. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Research, and I would like to ask you, what, how, what is your philosophy concerning reconciliation and forgiveness? Uh, this is all right. If you have a question about the topic that you know about in the media now, they're saying that uh, there are they're saying that the Syrian army and other uh, fighters, its allies, uh, killing killing people in the east today, massacre, massacring oh. them. Oh. So his uh, question and integrate that so we can win most okay. of the 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 philosophy I, I don't speak about philosophy of reconciliation I speak about theology of reconciliation for sure nothing will solve the problem other than uh, reconciliation but reconciliation needs two parties is it right yes whenever I want to reconcile with you if you are rejecting me what can I do 
from the, start, the whole time of the crisis, we were calling for dialogue. And every time they had demonstrations under the title, no dialogue. Yes. This is very important. And about the media, I already answered uh, uh, Hussein, you know what? This, is, this was the game of the media through all the crisis. The Syrian army, I have pictures how they carry all people to get them out of the fire. They, they tried to distort the picture of the Syrian legal army while they were killing people. Have you noticed many times through the media how they slaughtered a boy who did not pass 12 years old? Have you followed how they killed, how they killed 12, not 12, 120 people in in, in just a shahur and throw their heads into the, the river? Have you followed how they cut, catch many, uh, many uh, pilots and cut their heads and put them under barbecue? Yes. This is the media that are saying now the Syrian army is doing this. Mm. Sorry, 